Hello everyone, welcome to another action-packed episode of Aaron Outdoors. It's the start of the whitetail deer season, one of our favorite times of the year, and we at Aaron Outdoors have our best season ever on tap. It's opening day. Brett and Blake have been watching this target buck on camera. They're going to head in and see if they can get it done. Well, we knew this buck wasn't bedded very far away, and we thought he would make an appearance. And right on cue, here he comes up through the thicket.
found him yet. I don't want to celebrate too much till we find him. steps down the trail where that deer took off running quartered hard to us on the shot looks like there might be some blood on it but there's also maybe some gut residue of where the, he shot all the way through the deer probably back towards through there but he did see some blood there's a little blood right there there's a little blood right there there's blood about eight yards sometimes it takes up so it's bright red blood uh, let's go up here and give him some more time that that arrow concerns me well the guys weren't sure where this buck was hit since it was behind a tree from the camera so they backed out and called for reinforcements What are you doing? I'm 
getting up the bean sticks. Getting up bean sticks. Yeah. Well, we might be in. We might be in for a long night. Why? I shot that deer, but when I shot, he wheeled and turned, and I got a complete pass through. He's behind the tree in the video, so you can't see my impact on the arrow. You can just see his head. You can just see the head. Uh, but I saw the arrow hit him. Um, it hit him right about the shoulder or maybe a touch behind the shoulder. And he wheeled towards the stand and went back down the hill. So he turned like a 360 straight almost. Straight over the hill. And went straight over the hill. I shot him at 524, so it's been about 40 minutes. Bring some flashlights, tracking light. Probably. Ah, so you probably ought to wait that long anyway. Yeah, I know it. I know it. I just was wanting to at least track him to the to the creek down there in the daylight, maybe. So we've got another hour, two. Ah, I'll be that quick if we can get there. That's fine. Don't get everything on. Don't don't rush or nothing. Be all right. Um, all right. Be there and be. All right. Hopefully the I'm last still shaking. Hopefully the last photo we'll ever get of them. Alive. Well, yeah, alive. 523. Shoulder? It might be, I don't know. It went all the way through. Yeah. Light come on. I yeah, the light was on. You can't see the hit in the video. It's behind the tree. Here he comes. When, when I shoot, just listen real intently. Did you hear him hit the yeah, water? I heard too. Look right there, boys. He is. He didn't make it up. Look right there, boys. I told you to crash there. I told you to crash. Yeah, oh, Dad. I bet he skinned his velvet all the pieces on those rocks. Let's go get him. Oh, my God. I heard. I knew he didn't make it out of that creek. Can you see? There lies our buck right there, guys. We heard him in the creek. He tried to make it up that hill and couldn't. Hopefully he didn't make it out of the creek. Put that rage in the cage, baby. There's the exit. Yep. It wasn't that bad. Honestly. Well, that's a pretty good shot. Oh, man, there's... What a deer. <laughs> what a stutter. Oh, man. First velvet buck. Look at that. 
I always skin that up a little bit, but that's all right. Yeah, he skinned it up. Oh, that split. See that fork, yeah, and a little kicker on the inside. Oh, what a deer, man. What a deer. <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. A little kicker over here. He's got one, almost two, two, three, four, five, six. You can probably get a ring on that. Seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen at least. Oh, man. Wow. What a sh what a whew, I worried and fretted and worried and fretted about that shot. He's not very wide, but he's a he's a pretty deer. Oh, yeah, he's he's a good. beautiful deer. Tagged out opening day here in Kentucky. Can you believe it? What a deer. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Well guys, here he is. My 2021 Kentucky buck. Um, it's opening day today. And uh, we hunted this morning for this guy and didn't see him. Went back in this afternoon and uh, about 520 he showed up and uh, didn't get a whole lot of footage of him, but we were able to able to get a shot on him as you can see real good shot uh, he ran about i don't know 80 yards probably and piled up in the creek and uh couldn't be more happy he's a uh, nice nice buck still pretty much full velvet a little bit has started to shed off here but uh he's got at least 14 scorable points and uh this is definitely my biggest buck to date and just had an awesome awesome day in the woods uh blake behind the camera and uh, dad came down and helped us recover this guy so it was a full team effort uh, i guess i'll be running the camera for the rest of the season for these guys so looking forward to it and uh, thanks for watching aaron outdoors we're going to try to put some more bucks on the ground well what a buck my biggest buck to date and to top it all off a velvet buck on opening day Blake, we can't ask for a better start to our season. No, Brett, we sure couldn't unless lightning can strike twice. The following evening, I'm going to head in after a velvet buck. Let's see if I can punch my tag and make this the best opening weekend ever.
We hadn't even been here 30 minutes. We had a small buck come into the feeder on the other end of the bean field. It was the same buck that we've been seeing with Big D on our trail cameras. And then he eased off back into the woods. And the next field over, through some trees and a field, we saw what we think is Big D and that same small buck. But they ran back up into the woods. I think they're just pretty frisky with this weather, this front that we've had come through. So we still got a lot, of, a lot of time left in the hunt. Maybe they'll come through the beans here shortly. First, first scent of the year for me with a bow. I've seen my target buck. now working the opposite way there's another bean field not too far off I just knew he was going to come into this bean field that was the last time we had a picture of him but that's how it goes with this deer he's always playing tricks on us so it's nice to see him at least on the first sit of the year but I'm a little disappointed that I didn't get a better look at him, not that I didn't get a shot on him. I'm pretty sure it's him. It's the deer that he's hunting that it's been with all year. That small. set it out and see what happens.
Well, we just got out of the stand and back in the truck, headed home. A little after eight now, we uh, had a crazy evening hunt here, second day of the season. We originally saw our top hit list buck, Big D, about 30 minutes after we got set down, if that. He unfortunately didn't come into the field. He walked on and probably went to another bean field, but not long after that, we did have a, a nice three-year-old buck we call Cloud Nine come directly under the stand. And, uh, another buck was with him, a smaller eight-pointer. Uh, they knew something wasn't right with uh, with what was going on this evening, and uh, they didn't stick around long. And then not long after that, of course, you saw that we had the, another nice eight-point buck come in we call Patches. And uh, we didn't get a look at him, but the buck K-10, another shooter, four-year-old, uh, was with him probably off in the woods, and we just never got a good look at him. And we seen another another small buck and some does, so it was a pretty pretty crazy and eventful uh, evening hunt. Hopefully, we can uh, keep the action going moving forward. We're excited to get back in the tree. We got uh, one more day to hunt this week until next weekend. So stay with us here at Aaron Outdoors. Well, what an opening weekend it was for us here at Aaron Outdoors. Blake decided to pass on that buck in hopes of him making it another year. And we're going to have more whitetail deer hunting action next time out on Aaron Outdoors. And that's going to do it for our show today. We thank you for tuning in. We want to thank all of our fine sponsors for making the show a possibility. Check us out, all of our social media outlets, as well as our website, AaronOutdoors.com. We'll see you right back here next time on Aaron Outdoors. Aaron Outdoors is brought to you by H. James Popowell Family Dentistry, Lawless and Smith True Value, Superior Battery Manufacturing Company, celebrating three decades of energy excellence made in the USA, Affordable Roofing, professional work at affordable prices, Russell Springs and Jamestown Pharmacies, fast and dependable service you can count on, Jamestown Auto Sales, when you think of a nice, late-model, rebuildable wreck, think of Jamestown Auto Sales. For all your heat pump needs, service, and installation, call Kurtz Heating and Cooling. McDonald's of Russell Springs. drive through, dine-in, carry-out, order online, and on the McDonald's app. H&H &H Transport. Diversified Electric for all your commercial and residential electrical needs. Russell County Farm Bureau Agency. Blake Aaron Agent big on commitment and by day and day feed more than just a feed store 